Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly, back with another How to Draw video. You know, people have been asking me for a while to do a video on how to draw hats. So that's what we're going to be doing today. You saw at the beginning of the video I made a quick sketch of these two characters, uh, without hats, of course, and we're going to go ahead and draw the uh, hat, show you how they fit properly onto the head, because really that's the main point of this video. Not so much like how to draw a hat in isolation, but how do you draw the hat so it looks natural, like it actually fits uh, on the head that you have drawn. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this first one, and we'll get to it. Okay, so I've decided for this to do a kind of, uh, I think they call it like a newsboys cap like the old newsboys who used to stand out on the corner and sell newspapers. I'm going to start by drawing a single line here right across uh, the head here and uh, notice that this line uh, is maybe a little closer to the eyes than it is to the top of the head. There's a little guideline for you uh, as we begin to construct uh, this hat. Now uh, I uh, see this hat as having a band across the middle so I'm going to go ahead and draw that second line right there. Uh, and notice that the band has to extend outside of uh, the line of the head, you know, sort of the light line that you've put in there to begin with. Once you've got that in place, you can begin to construct the uh, actual shape of the hat. Now, I think the one that I'm doing here is a little bit on the large size. Uh, some people might want more of a... Um, uh, tight-fitting or less floppy kind of a hat, but I thought it was kind of cute to give her a slightly large hat. In fact, if I stop right here, it almost looks like a beret uh, or something along those lines. Uh, but here's where we add this visor that comes down. Now notice, uh, we're because she's turned a little to the side here, it's going to start right around here, comes down at an angle, and as it reaches to the top, the tops of her um, eyelashes, we have it kind of curve across like this and curve back uh, to meet that band. Almost looks a little bit like a Super Mario hat. Doot, 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 doot. Mark, Mark, stop. You're losing your mind. Any, anyway, <laughs> I love Mario. I can't. I, I couldn't resist doing that. So let's go ahead and uh, add some uh, uh, pattern to this. I think I'm going to do like a Burberry uh, plaid kind of a look. Uh, I did that when I did the video a while back um, of the uh, hooded, how to draw hoodies. And uh, so I, I enjoyed doing that Burberry kind of uh, plaid style. So I'm going to do the same thing. And a nice thing about doing a pattern like this is it just adds form. You see how the lines kind of follow? Uh, by putting this plaid pattern on here, these lines suggest the actual contours of the uh, the cloth of the cap. And uh, later on, I'm going to you know do final lines on here and uh, erase the guidelines so you won't see the the sort of line of her head behind it. But I think it is helpful to before you try to draw the hat to to at least draw a little rough guideline of the top of the head so that you, you can sort of make sure that the the cap is the right size. And uh, let me go ahead and do uh, the rest of that plaid pattern here. You have to be careful that the uh, pattern seems the same, you know, like the width between these lines is the same as it is up here. And that basically is it. I think it's really not that hard to, to draw a cap like this. I mean, the main thing is getting it so that it uh, is the proper width and the proper height of height. Height? Is that a word? <laughs> Before you uh, do the final lines. Uh, if you get these rough lines in place, that'll help you too. And I guess I suppose that there should also be a little bit of that pattern along the band. But I'm going to go ahead and kick it into time lapse to finish off this drawing and uh, then we'll move on to the other hat which is going to be a little more involved. Alright, so there you go. Add a little shading here to give more form to it, you know, by adding shadows here at the uh, the bottom of this section. It helps to give it a, a more of a three-dimensional uh, quality, and of course the visor is going to create a little bit of shading uh, down here uh, over the eyes. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to that next drawing. I'm going to be drawing a top hat. I think you guys are uh, going to enjoy this one, because it'll be my first ever video where I get into uh, the steampunk style, which I've never tried before. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this character is going to be wearing a top hat, and uh, I'm going to begin by drawing the rim, the brim. 
You're like, I never, how come I never know the words for anything? The rim, the brim, the part, the bottom bit <laughs> of the hat. But the interesting thing about this is it is a little bit like a figure eight. Okay, now watch how I do this. It's curving like so. Uh, and as it comes over here, it curves back just a little uh, bit of a, you know, half oval here. And when you're coming over to this part, uh, it curves uh, in, in the opposite direction, you know, or above, right? This is sort of the bottom of the hat here, uh, what we're seeing, uh, and this is the upper uh, surface of it. And uh, from there, we can uh, construct the shape of the actual top hat. Now, some top hats, as you know, uh, can be very uh, exaggerated or, like, incredibly uh, tall. Uh, I'm trying not to get too crazy with that because I don't want it to go, you can see it's already going out of frame here. Nice planning, Krilly. Uh, but anyway, go across the top here and um, just because of the laws of perspective, uh, we're kind of looking almost at the, uh, you know, we're not looking down at the top of the hat. We may get just a little sliver of that upper surface there. And then down here, we go across to create a band. Um, I don't know if all top hats have a band like this, but make sure that uh, the curve of this line follows uh, roughly the, the curve of the top here. And uh, you may see just the sort of bottom edge of that, uh, uh, of that band. And I told you that I was going to try to do steampunk style with this, and it may be a little bit weird, but I'm going to go ahead and add uh, goggles here, which I think uh, it doesn't maybe make a whole lot of sense. How does he get the goggles down off the hat over his eyes? Are they just decorative? I don't know. Don't ask me these questions, people. It just looks cool, I hope. So I'm going to draw a couple of uh, the sort of, what do you call those, uh, goggles, the sort of binocular part of the goggles. Uh, you should have them roughly above each eye if the, you know, if the hat is tilted in this direction. Connecting them here. Um, I had to do more videos, I think, of the sort of steampunk style. I think it's a kind of a cool style. And I, uh, like I said, I really have not done any videos uh, using that. I mean, there's lots of cool little details and so forth in the steampunk style. So, uh, basically got everything in uh, place here. The main thing is to get that shape of the, the lower uh, rim, brim, uh, bottom edge thingy uh, at the bottom of the hat, and uh, to get the, the top surface to sort of mirror uh, these lines, have them all flowing in the same direction. And of course the width here. Uh, in fact, I may want to uh, expand this side of it a little bit if uh, we're leaving enough space for it to fit on top of his head. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and once again kick it into time lapse to do some of the finished uh, details, and uh, I'll come back to uh, give some final words. All right, well, there we go with our sort of uh, steampunk villain. I don't know if he's a villain, uh, but uh, apologies for all the time lapse. I know a lot of people will again be like, dude, what is with all the time? <laughs> Actually, someone <laughs> during one of my last videos, someone said, Mark, why is it that whenever you, you, you imitate yourself, which is kind of weird, the concept of imitate. How do I imitate myself? But he's like, whenever you imitate yourself, you're like, yes, well, I'm Mark Crilly, and I'm talking to you. And but then whenever I imitate my viewers, it's always like, dude, man, you know. And, and it's, I turn all of my viewers into like uh, uh, surfer dudes. Meanwhile, I sound like, hi, I talk like this. And my apologies, because actually, if you think that through, that's that's very rude, right? I mean, what am I? I'm, I'm going to, new policy, from now on I will not make my uh, viewers sound like that. I will make them sound more cultured and sophisticated. Mark, really, <laughs> I must, I, I'm sorry to inform you, but this excessive use of time-lapse photography is appalling, and I implore you to cease and desist at once. What do you think of that? Maybe that'll be my new, the new voice of my viewers. 
Let me know what you think. Maybe we can make a change. Anyway, I think I'm kind of done with this and done with the crazy voices. Let's go ahead and pull back and uh, show what both of them look like together, and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, well, there you have it, my little lesson on drawing hats. Of course, there are many other varieties uh, that I could draw. Let me know which kinds uh, of hats you would like to see me uh, do, or indeed uh, as suggestions for any kind of video you'd like to uh, see me do here on YouTube. I really do like to, to operate according to your requests. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to do the second video in that series about uh, page layouts. I'm going to get to that, I promise you. That one's just going to be a little time consuming to create uh, as these videos go, and that's why I'm, I'm being lazy. <laughs> And <laughs> I keep putting it off. But uh, anyway, let's wind this one down. I want to thank anyone who has uh, supported me by getting my graphic novel series, Miki Falls, uh, or else Brody's Ghost, uh, again, available at uh, school book fairs by way of Schoolastic all across the country. I really do appreciate all of you uh, for supporting me, for leaving comments, for clicking the like button, for subscribing, all that good stuff. Uh, you really have uh, made a huge difference in my world. Uh, I say that in all sincerity. But let's uh, go ahead and lay down this pencil. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon.